Okay, so this is my cryo cooler. It gets down to negative temperatures, and I made it with these little thermolytic plates. And you can buy these off eBay, and I'll put a link in the description below. But it runs off 12 volt DC, 2 amps, and it gets down to like a negative 10 degrees. I got these thermolytic plates off of this radiator fan that's used for cooling electronics in supercomputers. I got it at the flea market for like $3. So let's test it out and plug it in. This one's the fan, and this is the actual cooling device. Now we just need to connect it together. Now we can monitor how cold it gets. Already at 48 degrees. And I'm going to put this box under it so it gets better airflow. Let's see what it is now. It's at 19 degrees. Okay, let's put a cover over it to get it colder. This is my uh, cover I made out of some tissues, electrical tape, and a regular cardboard box. It fits right on there. Now we'll just wait a few minutes for it to cool down to cryo temperatures. Okay, we're back in less than a minute later. It is already at minus six, no, minus nine degrees. Almost minus ten. More of these thermolytic plates that you have the lower the temperature will get. and But you might need a, bit, a bigger power supply than one of these. I just connected all of them in parallel and put them right on top of each other. So the hot side is on the bottom and the cold side is on the top. And that's how it gets down to such low temperatures. Originally, these are, these are used in like radiators for electronics and in those little refrigerators that you buy to go on camping trips. These are the ones that only get down to like 32 degrees freezing point. But with three of them, you can get down, let's see if it's lower, minus 10 degrees. And yeah, I'll have another update coming soon.